starting. Welcome everyone to the channel. This is so so cool and we have... Oh oh oh! You're going to like it these civilizations. Wow! Team that who is losing right now... Pick civilization first. Well we have... Britons Persians and Mongol as Spanish. We will see what things is Lamb when he's coming back about these civilizations but we have now NBL with the Spanish facing Nick of Britons. Britons better in early game. Really really strong. Absolutely. And uh, well we can see that Red Miguel with Persians is facing Mongols with the Viper. Right? The Viper with Mongols, this is green like Arabia and we have, oh man, that goal forward is absolutely awful, awful for MBL. Well, all the goals in the same spot. Look, what a terrible spot for MBL. Uh, the Viper has okay wood, but that goal is also awful. He can protect with the walls, but Barry's at the back. It's okay map, it's okay map, pretty, pretty wallable. He can make a arena super easy. But MBL here, oh man, if Nikov is pushing, if Nikos is really pushing and put all the damn pressure with goal at the back and a nice wood that he has, they can do, well, Nikov can do a massive damage, really, really, really massive damage, absolutely, absolutely, well, you can see how Nikov, whoa, MBL is there, taking the ship, taking the ship already, alright, he's gonna hit, yeah, he's hitting there. Oh, be careful with that villager. He wants to find the ship. But the thing is, if he's, he keep going there, he's gonna limb even more ships. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. He's gonna limb those ships. Well, now he can see it. Let me check if Nikov can, can see those ships. Oh man. Oh! That. That was, that was amazing, to be honest. 300 foot. 300 foot or oh, really lame it, man. 300 foot. Thank you for the loot, these guys. Absolutely amazing. Well, I will read later. Sorry. Sorry, but... Yeah, MBL is doing a great job there. He's taking the board, but he has lame already three ships. And, man, three ships with Britons, guys. Three ships lame it with Britons. In the other side, we can see how... The Viper can go super fast. Oh, he didn't take also those ships as well. He's laming the boar, man. He's laming the boar, the Viper, on absolutely beast mode. Laming the boar to who? To Miguel, I assume. Yeah, I don't know where was the boar, probably forward, but yeah. One boar less, man. They have been laming all the time, man. All the time. Oh my god. Anyway, we will see 15 population, the board at the back. And now, 15 population also for Nikov. Those deers, two, four, six deers, guys. Six deers, and he can see it, man. He can see six deers for Nikov. He's going for the deers. Absolutely, man. Thank oh, he's taking the ships. Eh, he's fine. He's more than fine. He's all right. Thank you for the following. Welcome everyone to the channel. Let's go enjoy with this game that is, is the game, is the game. I always say, people tell me, hey, go play other, other game that is like with more audience, more famous. This game is the game of the games, man. Ay, ay, ay. Lovely game. Lovely game. For that, this game will never, will never die. It's impossible. It's impossible. He's doing another mill. Whoa. For real? Well, with six deers might be worth it, but the mill is, is so close. Yeah, he will use to wall. Ay, 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 I don't know about that one. All right, man, I'm back. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. You missed it, that, you. that Viper, Viper limit one boar, one more time. But look at the map from, from MBL. What do you think about MBL map? Look at his goal. <coughs> ay, ay, yeah, ay. pretty pretty vulnerable. Even Even Viper's map. If you look at Viper's golds, they're all on hills, which is, I yeah. mean, he can get one, he can get one TC on the, the top one, but right now I'm going to have to say Nikov has got probably the best map, in my opinion. His gold is right in the back. It's so safe. Wanted to ask you, what do you think about that? Look at the second mill, super close to the other one, but six deers, man. You six make deers. that wow, close, crazy. that, but that close mill, maybe he don't even need it. Look at the distance now from those four yeah. villages and the mill. He could, it's closer the other mill. 
or, or more or less the same. So I think he yeah, didn't true. need to, to make the meal there. Yeah, man. So we got Britons and Persians versus Spanish and Mongols. Yeah, you know, you know how he's going, the, who is losing right now. Pick first, then the Viper and, and NBL, then Nico van Biel, and like this. I we see. have seen we have seen this civilization so much. Who has better civilizations? Depend on the on the age of the game that we I are. I think so. I, I think. Thank you well, I think, for um, following. Viper and NBL will definitely have the better civs in Imperial Age, but I think um, Miguel and Nikov um, earlier in the game are gonna have the advantage with their civs. Nikov didn't find his sheep, and and you know how important sheep is for, for Britons. He didn't so find close it. To, oh, no, if you look, he, if you look and north, he yeah. It, and he got damn it another three ships, you know. I mean, really? Wow. Yeah, man. Cause, well, cause he got he got back two from NBL, so at the end it was only one. So he he's. Yeah. Without three ships at the end, but Nikov is going fast castle, man. He's going directly fast castle. I oh, have well, the feeling. Sheep. You definitely don't want to miss sheep with um, with Britons. You need your sheep, for sure. And he's yeah, so but... close to to seeing those sheep, Nikov. <laughs> oh well. Oh, at this point, little. it doesn't really matter. He's un... Yeah, it's for early game, right? Oh, he bring the wolves. Nikov is bringing his scout though, right to where his sheep are. It's like he knows. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, MBL! MBL is playing aggressive. Okay. <clears throat> he he probably tuned in the stream and he listened. Memb is telling that I'm playing defensive. Let's go aggressive. And he's sending one, two, three, four villagers oh, and the militias. But Nikov is trying to wall, but he's not going to wall in time. Ay, 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 Nikov. If you want to go fast castle, you don't wall. Oh, come on, he's gonna be inside, and this can be a disaster already for Nico. <coughs> it's a disaster, right? It can be a disaster. For, oh, for sure. But what is MBL? <coughs> MBL is building a tower. Oh, that tower there? Deer. For real? MBL could could be building a, a little bit closer. And another oh, one? Have, okay. How much stone he has? 20,000? Oh, he that quick palisade. <laughs> but, but there is one villager or even two that are going to die. Look at that mill. They are their wall with the with the berries. You see what I mean? Thank you for with that mm, palisade, yeah. those villages in danger. Those villages in danger. Thank you everyone for following. This is a slam, a tyrant. Well, I would try to put below the life that the Caucasus is a slam. But uh, for the next game, people is asking who is that sweet boys, man. Oh, he <laughs> delayed the meal. Well, now, now, Slam, he don't have any <laughs> meal. <laughs> I was oh, telling man. you two meals for for Nico, but now he doesn't have any. Ay ay ay, man. Look what he's going yeah, to do, man. Viper, Viper is also going fast castle as well. Ay ay ay. Well, Fifteen minutes. I can't, Fifteen I can't minutes even castle. say as well because Nikov can't even go up anymore. Yeah, well, Nikov. Uh, is just going to make towers. He doesn't have wood to make a single military building. He doesn't have a barrack yet. He doesn't have a barrack at Obama, you know? He doesn't have, mm -hmm. man. Ay, ay, ay. Well, uh, you have to wall, man, if you go to... Oh, what is he doing? Ay, 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 he's there. Oh, he's doing a tower, okay. Yeah, you need to send more okay. villagers. Well, he's waiting to see. He's with three villages on stone. But the problem is, what is Miguel doing? He's not going to castle it. Well, uh, Piper gonna make some knights and boom. Right? With 15 minute castle age? <coughs> yeah, some, for sure. Some knights and boom. He's gonna make another tower on the wood. He's waiting. MBL is going aggressive. I think, um. Miguel might be able to get some damage. Uh, maybe not. Miguel was sending some scouts to uh, MBL, but MBL does have one spear on his wood, so. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He has. Oh, he's doing the tower late. Remember the Spanish towers? They are super fast. They make it super fast. Nikov, use the villier. Use the villier. Oh, come on. He was trying to do. He's gonna lose that villier. Look at this. With two villiers, <coughs> he made the tower. He's gonna lose it. Nah, he's fine now. But with the other one. He's, he did it, man. He did both towers with two villages. The power of the Spanish people, you know? <laughs> Vi love. Viper's going to be love. very, very, <laughs> very far ahead in this game because all three players are going to be pretty far from going from Castle Age and Viper's going to have at least two TCs up when he's going to be pumping bills out. So. Well, the, the good thing from Miguel, 
He's already well completely. Look his resources and his Persians. With Persians you might oh, recover fast. Check out check out Miguel hitting uh MBL's. Oh! Oh the hunters! Yeah. Oh the hunters! He's killing Very the nice to MBL! Ay ay ay! That's so cool, man. That's so cool. A MBL is doesn't even see it because he would have been reacting with his spear by oh, now, but he's he not didn't even see moving it, man. It. He didn't see, and, and probably if he's sending to the berries, he can even kill those villages on the berries. He was so busy, he was so busy on uh, at home. Well, the game gonna be gonna be so cool, man. It is already so cool, but let's see <coughs> because the viper yeah. is sending villages, man. Miguel sending, does sorry, have a, nice. full, a full stone wall up, so this this isn't too bad for Miguel because Miguel is Persians and he can probably go double stables, and, and he can with double, easily with double easily stable? hit. MBL. Exactly, I was about to say that uh, he can do a lot of damage because when you go that early game, well, that fast, well, look, he's not in a monastery, but yeah, he has second TC, but uh, you cannot pump a lot of knights. I mean, Viper can make <clears throat> few knights, but not a lot of knights either, so. True, yeah. And Viper is just at 34 vil, uh, 35 vils now. But he is building a third TC, so overall Viper will still have the most Vils uh, oh, once he gets his TC production. The scouts are there! Ah, yeah. well, but the Knights, oh my god, but he always has these lackeys, you know Islam? I mean, you almost never get this guy, like, okay, 4 Vils is there, like it happens to MBL. Viper is building the TC and he got there some body wars, right? Those Knights? Oh yeah. That yeah. is cover, it's cover. <clears throat> well, double stable, like you say, bloodlines. Well, but still, I mean, if he's so ahead... If he's going to to MBL now, he can destroy yeah, MBL. Yeah, and, and you know, Miguel is Persians. Persians can be pretty strong. I mean, their their boom can be pretty pretty efficient. He can recover. I mean, look at the villages. It's true <clears> that Piper <throat> has forty, Miguel uh, thirty four, but also, also, uh, oh, he's going with the nice. Nah, he's completely safe. Uh, Nikov, he's doing the market and Nikov economy. He's also gathering good economy yeah. to go up. Yeah, Nikov is going to go up. It's. I'm gonna take a, MBL is still pretty pretty far from going up, and his his map his gold is so open. Look at look wow. at him. Oh, the gold miners are there, man! Yeah, with I the see. Blood lines. Ay, 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 ay. Come, Miguel, say come with, with what? With villagers? <laughs> with I mean, bloodlines too. Yeah, Nikov has nothing. He's killing one villager. Go kill another villager. But the problem is not only the kill villagers, also all the idol and <clears throat> delayed him more and more to go castleage, right? So yeah, this this looks like it's gonna be another one of those uh, Viper is gonna be against uh, Nikov and Miguel much later in the game type type of game because I think MBL is very far behind now. Nikov yeah, but, is up now as well. But try to stop, try to stop a Mongols boom. It's true. Yeah, Mongols Ooh. are gonna be very tough. Ooh. Plus Viper did uh, strategically plan his third TC on stone, which is always good to do. You gotta get a TC on stone with Mongols, so he will get his castle up shortly. And probably in front of that TC, covering the other stone, right? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, probably there. Well, let's see. So, the decision now is... Let's destroy MBL because he's exposed and weak. But let the Viper yeah. do... Or go for the Viper, man. And attack the Viper. Because... You cannot let It's gonna be this, tough. Yeah. I hope... I think after they hit Miguel, uh, MBL... I keep getting the two confused. MBL and Miguel. That sounds so similar to me. But once they hit... MBL, I think Nikov and Miguel definitely need to team up together and hit hit Viper somewhere. Because Viper is now doing a 4 TC boom. If Viper gets Whoa. away with this with Mongols, it's going to be unstoppable. Definitely, man. Definitely. Well, his score is a scary movie right now. 59 villages. Not a lot of farming, but they are trying to make the damage on MBL. Sending the archers. He's exposed. It's true that... Well, with so many tone centers, look, those tone centers forward, how to raid him. He has those TCs almost in the range to each other. And inside, mm -hmm. he's completely walled, so Piper is not really in a position that you can hit, man. And M MBL did do a good move. He did place two towers on his main goal. He's always that, that he always does. When, good, when good. he has that situation, oh, okay. he always does. <laughs> well, you know, man, you team with him also some tournaments, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, 65 villages, the Viper, wow, the boom is getting, they need to do something, really, or the power of the Mongols, the power of the Mongols, ay ay ay, ay ay ay, the power. I think, um, Nikov and Miguel have to go hit Viper at this point, I think they might do that because they see MBL super far behind, so they might be like, we gotta hit Viper, his score is high, he's getting away with a free boom, so they might head over there soon, they should, if they don't, um, 
would be yeah, look gonna look this. bad. Hand card already. Well, it's true that the, the Mongols is super strong, but it's not like Persian that you instantly go up and make paladins and you... I mean, exactly, Mongols need yeah. more time. Mongols need yeah. to, to go full powerful. They need the castles. Elite Magundas need a lot of upgrades to be strong. Uh, or Siege Rams. Well, Siege Rams good, but you need also to make some good army. Let's see. Let's see. This game is going to be really nice. Go. Miguel. Miguel is only behind 14 Vils, so it's not too bad, but I think Viper does have a few extra techs, uh, eco techs, so... No, but Miguel, is doing, look, but Miguel is doing the hand card already, so... Oh, uh, but those stone wall against those crossbows from uh, from Nikov, even with the stone wall, look how he's doing now towers. This is yeah, good, the tower, they, yeah. they force they force Viper to spend a lot of stone in the towers, it's which true, is good. Yeah. It's good not to, to let him make a castle, now doing the fletching. Then they are trying to push, they are killing now some bellies. Yeah, well, and the Persians, if he's booming a strong Miguel, remember, against the Magudais, probably they are the best the best paladins with the plus two. Hmm. So what Viper is doing, he's just trying to stay. He, Viper knows he has probably the best boom so far. He's just doing whatever he can to make sure that these guys can't double him right now. He's trying to get away with a, a free run here and get castles up. So Viper is playing a very, very safe, and I think he know he needs to do that in this position. Okay, well, you can see how now some nice he's sending plus two uh, MBL, and he's gonna kill the Mangonels. He's trying to kill that tower, but he's gonna kill the Mangonels. You need to be careful, Mr. Nikov. You are going to lose the Mangonels. Ay, 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 oh, ay. Wow, yeah. He's gonna lose the Mangonels. Because you don't, you cannot leave those mangonels alone. Also, some monk would be ideal. They are trying to read, but they didn't make any damage. Viper is still pretty ahead with everything. With everything. Economy, about to click up. He has the castle and he's doing the castle exactly in the spot we were selling, Mr. Slam. Covering both the seas and the stone. Oh, yeah. Miguel, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to... They're going to be able to touch a Viper here. And you know what? MBO is doing exactly what he needs to do. Yeah, he's got up to um, Castle, and now he's going straight into plus two Knights and going for the pressure back on Nikov, which is actually going to free up Viper some more. Yeah, he's doing more towers, but uh, he can't... Nah, he's a stone wall, man. He's a stone wall. Uh, Viper is clicking up to Imperial. He's on the way to Imperial. 97 billion. Now he has 20. Oh, wow, yeah. 22 villages more than Miguel. Miguel is not even close to go up to Imperial. Well, if they make rams or something, they don't have armor. No, but he has also three monks, two towers, two Tocentes castle. No way they can do anything there, man. And now he's doing the Botkin arrow. Ay, 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 ay. Viper is playing today with no mistakes. I mean, he's not, he's just doing exactly what, uh, I mean, his, the execution of what he's doing is today pretty good, pretty perfect. I mean, he was he was trying to go fast castle and boom, and look, did he lose what one two villages in the whole game? <clears throat> Three you, you units. Can almost, you can almost think of MBL as sort of being like the sacrificial, like sacrifice lamb himself. Or, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, because like in a lot of these games, you actually do see MBL getting getting doubled, you know, and MBL just usually towers up and you always see Viper sort of doing the strat that involves a, a wall and um, yeah, town look, centers look, exactly. and then carrying later in the game, yeah. Look, at now Miguel, we can do anything there, I go oh, to yeah, MBL, but now I think it's a bit late to go to MBL because Viper, ay, yeah, 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 look at this score from the Viper, but still, he needs to make all the upgrades, he has only one castle, is he gonna make Viper more castles? Thank you for the following, guys. Uh, well, he can make another castle, probably gonna make in the same spot. Probably. He was trying. No, he has a second castle already. Gonna have the third castle. Yeah, man, look at that castle. Ay, ay, ay. Mr. Slam, I don't know what they can do now because they are. Really yeah, high, the Mongols. Man. Viper is definitely <clears throat> way too ahead with the Mongols now. I don't think there's as much they can do here. Well, good population for, for Miguel. 94 villages, but 113 villages. And, well, he's doing now a TC. Oh, he's gonna raid some, now he's gonna wall, he's gonna wall! He walled it in the last second, eh, ah, not doing oh, wow, any damage. Yeah. Well, it's true that, uh, that MBL, really low population, if you check, really low. Maybe, Thank man, well, I know way. that, uh, I know that uh, the mod, it makes that the, the sling is really bad here, 
But maybe they saw this link, man. I mean, Mikov is linked by uh, Miguel. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, I don't see anything. They can if, do. if there's anything I know about Miguel, though, Miguel is all, has always been good with um, Paladin and Knight Civs. He's always been super, super strong. So, you know, Miguel might be able to carry this a little bit back. We'll see how it goes. R yeah. Right now, it definitely, definitely looks like in the advantage of, uh, obviously, by the score, by Viper and MBL. But not only that, having the leading person in the game being Mongols, is uh, the Mongols player, is also huge, so... Yeah. Well, the score now is... I mean, it's not fake, it's real, but... But is that, uh, Nick, uh, that Miguel... Uh, sorry, that Viper has a huge economy right now. He doesn't have yet a crazy, crazy military, but he's gonna get really soon. If they don't make something, he has the monks, he has the Magundites, those Magundites are plus two, doing Thumbering, Brazer, all the Abris, Nikov is now on their way to Imperial. Well, what to do, Nikov? Push MBL or go together with, with Miguel? Nikov is gonna uh, have... Nikov does, he is building a, a good castle up front. That, that will be good, that will prevent them from holding that hill later. Well, let's see, Nikov gonna have those snipers that I love to, to call, those are plus four, but uh, NBA has good knights. Now, those knights against the Arbolets with all the Arbolets are gonna die instantly. Instantly, gonna be really strong. But Piper, what the hell, Piper is doing another castle. That castle is right now the fourth castle, in, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, man, the fourth castle, ay, yeah, 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 yeah. He has 21 cub archers, which are all my, oh! Ferraris, man! He's going for the siege runs. Ferraris already? What the hell? Ah, yeah, yeah he has siege wars of forward Vi slam. Viper's plan is he knows he needs to quickly Thank kill Miguel before he gets his masses his paladins. So that's like probably exactly what he's trying to do right now. But he's pushing, man. He's gonna push fast. He's gonna push fast. I'm going to go to Miguel' point of view. Do you think Miguel gonna be <coughs> able to stop? He's doing cavalier some plate part in armor, but this is already. Well, he's on the way to make Elite Magundes. He lost that monk instantly. He's trying to make, well, he's gonna have, he's gonna lose all the stable, smart move. Well, he still have a stable at home, coming with the Rams, cab Rams with, with Ferraris. Nikov need to help. Really, Nikov yeah. need to help. Nikov need to help, look at the score. They have good population, both, both players, Nikov, help. With those arches, he could help a lot, really. What do you think? What he should do? He need to help there instantly. Yeah, Otherwise, it's whoa! Hard to say. It looks like MBL might clean up. Oh, never mind. I thought MBL was gonna kill Nikov's archers, but no. But he's doing another castle. He should. He need to go help. Nikov is perfect position. He has two castle in front, so he's completely safe. He's not gonna get raided by by anyone. <coughs> so he really need to go and stop that push because the Viper with crazy amount of Magodice, Elite Magodice doing the last armor gonna be fully upgraded and just missing the, what, the chemistry? Yes, just missing the chemistry. Oh man, those Cavaliers are super strong, but those Magodice in numbers. Oh, but Miguel, like you said, man, even with that pressure, he is already with the Paladins on the way. If he's waiting, those Paladins can do the job. But like he said, many Magodice, many no. 50 Mago Dice. A lot of Mago Dice, man. A lot of Mago Dice. Ay, 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 ay. Nikov! Yeah. Go help! Or we are gonna get the 3 1 really soon because the Viper is on total domination mode, Islam. Oh, for sure. <clears throat> Look at those. You have to kind of think, think how Viper got into this position as well. And if you think about it, he got away with just. I think. He, what did Viper do? Did he even build any scouts in Fetal? Or did no. he just go straight? No, 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 he, he went, went straight 50, to 50 minute castle age. So you have to, you have to think about it. I mean, last time I've done something like that, my ally is usually dead, right? So, sometimes people like to blame MBL a lot, but if you think about it, MBL is still in the game. And if MBL has a partner such as Viper who just goes fast castle, and Viper is not going to build any units in feudal, I mean, you ha you have to give a little bit of credit to MBL, you know, because technically there's two players that are in feudal. Miguel well, sent scouts, that's that's sent that's scouts obvious. And, and actually, not any player. He's against Nikov. He's against Miguel as well. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. 
he, yeah, he's behind in the score, but thanks to that he has 130 population, which is good. And look what Viper is doing on Miguel. This is absolutely over, man. Absolutely over. But Viper is killing in both sides. He's getting now those charges from Nikov and he's destroying even well. Yeah. Oh, 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 but now a lot of Paladin, like you say, that yeah, yeah. Look at the population from Miguel. It's still I mean, if he's looking with those siege ramps, and remember, the power of those Persian stone centers, 5,000 HP almost, he's gonna kill now all the siege ramps. Wow! That's absolutely crazy that Miguel, with those paladins, clean absolutely everything, man. Whoa! Yeah. I think Nikov needs to be ready to sling Miguel a little bit, because Miguel is gonna be the person that's gonna be able to continue to push... Uh, but, but, but this well, is, this is, too. Slam, this is the behave, say, we will double, now he's not telling, I'm dying, yes, I mean, it's, it's just a different, you see that and you say, ah, say, we will double, he was with six rounds, my one is on his face, Slam on his face, and now he said, say, we go and double, what the hell, what the, this game, <laughs> it's amazing, man, they are coming back from the game, look at population from Miguel, uh, uh, Slam, yeah. impressive, it's man. It's gonna be tough to... Still, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Viper is starting trade. Mongols is uh, such a powerful sieve. Mongols can literally take on almost two players sometimes if you have yeah, enough but, but, but now, But now Miguel has more Paladins than Viper. Mango dies. Whoa! That's yeah. also true. And MBL now with really low army. And Britons, I mean, if you see now 20, 30 army from Britons, how much army he can do so, so quick with Britons. Yeah. So cheap. So cheap units. Ay, 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 and he's pushing now, pu 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 pushing with Trevichet, come on. I mean, how this game is, it's still in this situation. I mean, it was looking that, that Viper was going to destroy completely. Yeah, this is actually quite interesting. I think Persians and Brits together, a very good combo. And you could see that Viper was starting to sling MBL. And he slung MBL a bunch of food, but right now MBL doesn't have any gold. All three of his golds are up front, so. Oh it's my gonna god. Be very hard. Oh my god, let's see this fight. They need to deal with those Magodites. He needs to kill those siege rams, Ferraris, send a couple of Paladins. He's flaring. He's flaring to send. Those Paladins are super strong, but Viper is doing a beautiful Miguel, micro. Look at that Miguel micro. Needs go, to go, watch go. His pal yeah. Exactly. Miguel's was... losing too many Paladins. Yeah, be careful, man. Be careful. Also, to don't lose those and go together with Nikov, right? Because with the range. Oh, but he's bringing a lot. He's still bringing a lot of Paladins. Now, 80 yeah. military together. <laughs> Only 55 for Piper and MBL. Oh man. Are I they think. Uh, yeah, go, go, Islam. Uh, Miguel should probably throw a castle up in front of that one gold. I, I think if you need. Because he has 700 stone, I think maybe he should throw that up because his, his front. I mean, front. Yeah, his front gold is so vulnerable right now. Anyways, just. Uh, just not too important. Well, anyway, man, look at this fight. It's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. He's waiting. The thing is that Viper uh, is holding now. I mean, he's waiting MBL because MBL is not joining the party yet. And if he's if he don't join soon, let's remind also that the resources for Viper are not gonna be forever. He has not so much wood, not so much gold. And if he's losing the Magunda, there will be a point that he will have no resources anymore. Yeah. Well, he's trading. How many trade? Let's check. Oh, oh! But they have combined 30 trade cards. And remember, a Spanish trade while Nikov and Miguel need to trade a sub because they have zero trade. And they will be out of gold soon also. We can check right now. Nikov. Well, Nikov is still with good resources. <coughs> no. What the hell? Mitchy resources, Islam. What the hell? Those resources. He gave now a lot. No, he's doing elite lombos. Elite lombos. He should make oh, wow. ha halberdiers. Well, elite lombos for Nikov 200 population, Miguel 164. This game is just amazing. Go, 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 yeah, Slam Boy. Nikov's, Nikov, Nikov's archers are picking up those Magudai one by one. So look at this. Goodbye. Wow, beautiful micro there by Nikov. And now those Palanis. He keeps killing a lot of rams. Do you see? Getting all those rams. But now Cavaliers are doing the job. But the castle is also covering. Look at those Palanis. He needs to go with the arches. Go, go, go with the arches. Or put the arches be yeah, behind the castle. Wow, they're doing an fight. amazing, amazing fight. fight for Nikov and Miguel. Yeah. But the slam, they still need to trade. Fast and unpredictable. Not only that, you have to remember, um, Viper and MBL do have the Spanish trade, so once that starts kicking in, it's going to be very, very tough for 
Miguel but this and is, Nikov. This is the moment to push for Miguel and Nikov. Because if you for check sure, the army, yeah. if you check the army, they have really, really low army right now. The scores say that the game is almost at the same. Look at those three towers. But MBL is now doing the Paladin upgrade with how many trade cards? 25 trade cards for the Viper. 24 MBL. Nikov and Miguel, 50 minutes, zero trade yeah, cards. Yeah, I think... I think um, Miguel and Nikov need to, need to move in as quick as they can. They need to take that hill right where MBL has his main gold. Well, if they take that hill, they take the gold, the, the trade also yeah, because with I think those longbows. Should, should get oh. on that right away. Remember that he can go also siege rams. Now Miguel is doing the cab rams. He did the castle exactly in the spot you said. Nikov, 200 population. Miguel, 180. And they are trying to push -pu 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 and get that healless land. They will get it for now. Well, they are fighting on it. But complicated, man. Yeah. Yeah, because all those houses now are helping the Myronites, right? I mean, you can for say... Sure. Eh, but I think those Miguel, Miguel needs to back off a little bit. Miguel is wasting a little bit. Uh, I don't know, it's I'm, hard to I'm say. not sure because he has a lot of Lombos, you see, and those Palins are... No, 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 it's hard to say. No, he's losing, he's losing there. He's losing there because he has a yeah, lot was... of Magundais. Oh, man. The trade, man. Ay, 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 that trade. Ay, 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 that trade. It can be a start to, to pay it off. Like you said, the NBL is still zero gold. Viper zero gold. It's so many units and so expensive, those units. But they are pushing now. Look at the yeah, amount of Magundais and the six gold, ramps. But... Viper does have 30 trade cards now, so with Whoa. Spanish trade, that's gonna be very, very good. Spanish economy, man. If they knew the, the real Spanish economy, they would change the civilization. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at those! Look at Miguel, those Spanish! Miguel has zero, zero trade cards. I think he's building his first trade cards right now. Well, Nikov did instantly six markets. It's true that if you make a lot of markets fast, you are going to, to, to get the trade fast. But man, in the meanwhile, look at this now. Look at these Paladins and Elite Mago dice. Well, yeah, I think Viper and MBL definitely have this now. Their trade's kicking in and they're pushing Miguel and Nikov backwards now. And they have a forward castle on that by that hill. And so to be, and to be honest, is... in Imperial and with the civilizations, in late Imperial, the Spanish and Mongols, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, with, and with that, uh, with that crazy trade, well, just the, the situation to go crazy is ballerinas, elephants with the Lombos, they cannot stop that combination, in my opinion. But to make elephants, what economy, what economy will need to mm -hmm. have to, to, to Miguel, right? It would be crazy yeah, no, economy. This is, this is, um... This definitely looks like it's going to be GG soon. I mean, you have you have a Mongols player who now has 30 trade cards with the Spanish bonus. Wow, and 37. Nikov, 37 yeah, already, Nikov man. and Miguel are just starting trade pretty much. So they're already being pushed back because they're... Because Miguel can't even keep up the production oh, of Paladins Oh, and they don't want, they don't protect the, 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 the trade. Look at those Magodites even going directly to the trade. So imagine, well, the thing is, he's going to find not too much to kill, you know? You because there's no trade away. card. Yeah, he's going with a lot of Magodites, but he's going to kill the Light Cap and the Paladin. Yeah, they need to win the trade also. Uh, they, they are playing really strong, but doing some mistakes, if you can call mistake or bit uh, sloppy in Imperial, I mean... With this situation and against the, Mo the Mongols, how do you don't build walls? If you yeah. need to make walls, really. Definitely the GG will be called. Well, let's see, let's see. They are not pushing yet in the economy. They are going with the with the Magodais. With the Magodais, Miguel is doing Hazard. So when you do Hazards, you know that something is, something is happening. I'm still sending Paladins, a lot of Hazards. Well, Nikov, Nikov has uh, right now uh, be careful because Nico has right now good amount of army. He's pushing the castle. He has a lot of Lombos. He's sending the halberdiers. Not fully armored. That's a problem. You need the plus four, plus four. This is a lot of a lot of paladins now. Well, siege rams are playing super strong. Both team, but in Imperial, wow! Look at the push here now from the Viper. In late game without the trade, it's just impossible and like Islam is telling now they are cleaning completely and they will call the GG anytime soon whoa
Well, people say in the chat, what do you think? Uh, do you have played with probably most of them? How important can be the communication? Uh, MBL, uh, Viper, same language, I mean, if all of them speak English fluent, but same language and with team speak or Skype or whatever voice chat they use. And Miguel and Nico at this level, no voice chat. Do you think it's important? Yeah, it's, it's always gonna be helpful if you can talk to somebody who you're very fluent with. But another thing I want to point out, um, I think this game, and it might have been one of the others, again, they left Viper completely untouched, the Mongol player, with a f completely free boom. I mean, who, who, seriously, who gets away with a fast castle nowadays uh, without building any military and their ally not dying? I mean, some somebody's, I think MBO may have died a little bit, but in the end it paid off because um, you get a Mongol player fully boomed, I think. Nikov and Miguel, yeah. that was kind of that was kind of their doing. Like they kind of let Viper be, you know. I feel like there needs to be some more aggression on Viper early in the game, but yeah, you hard put the, to say. You, you need to put the, the pressure a bit more in, in the strongest player as well, or or, or or do something because Viper at the end you say, well, he was behind. Oh, of course, Viper sent fourteen thousand resources in a two v two Arabia, fourteen thousand resources. In not a super long game, I mean, 57 minutes, 14,000 resources when he was doing crazy amount of magonites, right? Mm -hmm. uh, siege yeah. rams, uh, everything. So he sent a lot. And military, he got the most army, 65 largest army, Thank killed the most 360 me. units, and the economy. Well, Miguel did a huge boom, recovered back, but Viper got 10,000 more gold than the second in the game. 10,000 mm. more gold. 10,000 is not big. No, no, no. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge, man. That it's... is true. But, but you have to remember what what leads a player to that point. And, and, and the problem happened earlier. And, and like the, the amount of gold he collected is, it isn't a surprise because being untouched Echo Eco and then having trade up so early with Spanish trade, it does make sense. He can sling to MBO almost all day at that point. But um, I think Miguel and Nikov, um, especially if they if they know Viper has the stronger Civ for Imperial, I think they need to maybe think of something, some other strategy yeah. to maybe um, not not inflict so much uh, pressure and damage onto MBL, but maybe get some more onto Viper early in the game. Yeah. I have the same feeling. Well, right now, guys, this is the situation with the finals: three one for the Viper, MBL, Nico, Miguel. So now, Nico and Miguel and need to need to win. Uh, three games in a row to win the tournament or this will go already to the best of 11 slam that's it what is that's it 3-1 right now 3-1 already three. so whoa guys stay tuned this <laughs> 